Baby Angela had a special, uh, held a special spot in our parents' eye that Sheena and I, we couldn't tap into it as the older siblings. We just didn't get it. <laughs> Can't tell you the number of times that we would stand on the sidelines, look at each other, and whisper, oh, she's surely getting a spanking for this one. All to find out that dad would walk up and just say in his soft voice, no, baby girl, we just can't do that anymore. And Sheena and I would be like, come on, that was a clear violation of rules. So anyway, we got over all of that, and it took some time, but eventually baby Angela, she carved a little spot in both of our hearts and a spot that we hold very dear for our little baby sister. My best advice to both of you is to always remember that you're on the same team. Life has a way of surprising us and taking unexpected turns, but together you both will celebrate victories and support one another through tough seasons. Prioritize one another and often revisit the vows that you're making. But Nick and I, I think really became close. Uh, it was actually at a Robert O'Kane concert. I felt a pat on my back and it was Nick and it was almost like fate. I mean, the gods were, were touching there. We were arm in arm belching out every single lyric. And I think from that point on, and you might have a different answer, but I think from that point on, our, our friendship really grew and I began to know the ins and outs of you and, and we really began to have a, a true friendship. We were, had a lot of memories and at some point the, the time changed from it was memories with Nick to memories with Nick and Ange. Uh, Nick went from a wild boy to a, a tamed, charismatic, Humorous man. I'm excited for the memories that we've created in the past, and I know the memories that we're going to continue to create.